up and running needs to be our top. about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Joker, pick anything good? It might surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. They haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, We've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing.
jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. It sounds like you're scared of synths. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoitre the area. Hello. 
Got it. Hacking this is beyond me. Lock's really strong. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section.
looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. We'll find a way to get the facility's power back online. Look at this place. These drives are in a field day in here. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Nice. Warning. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. rating of 96.7 percent. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames, but thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Up. 
is somewhat present. Hostile sensor reading detected. There you are. Got it. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. and dance. Warning. Fuel depleted. Engine core is offline.
Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Engine firing. rating of 96.7%. Oh right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Going down. Let it dance. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive in the transmitters. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secured. 
There's no need to scrutinize the details. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive in the trench. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive in the trench. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive in the trench. Uh-huh. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel, and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. Surely with their resources, we'll be able to find young Sean. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details.
Are we pack rats now, sir? Gah! Hey. Something you need? Take this. Well, what do you think about our relationship? I'm afraid that's a bit of an unknown, sir. You're no longer the man I knew who went into that vault 200 years ago. Well, what do you think about? A bit uncertain these days, I'm afraid. It's as if I no longer recognize you sometimes. I can't imagine the man I once knew making the choices you do today. Your thoughts? Now that we've done them a proper turn, let's hope they can return the favor. Your thoughts? Sir, I realize you have military training, but I fear your decision may have been too abrupt. The Brotherhood seems more concerned about their technology than the people of the Commonwealth. That's all. All right. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. 
Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever, I'm not gonna be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons comes I've up? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Hey, what's brought you into town? I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? Not really your business. All right. Sorry I asked. Head on inside. the paper sales well the presses are getting overloaded that motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking stop worrying so much I gotta head into the office you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way why is something wrong Piper <sighs> well hello Free paper to newcomers. 
If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Just hoping to find something here. Yeah, you and every scaver in the Commonwealth. So what are you looking for, huh? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Mm, you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Drop by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do.
Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. Psh, Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. Codsworth. Shall I accompany you, sir? Would you like to? As you wish, sir. No, not now. All right, then. Inside, there's... Nothing but garbage. Hey. You say the word. Hey. Cap for your thoughts? Your thoughts? Anything I can do? You just say the word. Is everything all right between us, Piper? It's hard to say at the moment. I think I need you to show me you're not just out here for yourself. That's all for now. Okay. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm hmm. The mayor's secretary, come on. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Pipe is kind of a troublemaker. That a real Volsu? Sometimes Hi you there. Fight. Oh, does anyone wow. fight back? You're tall. Institute hey there, has Mr. to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Nikki's missing? What has he gotten himself into this time? Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast aways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry.
Don't move, Simp. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Simp! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Just going to waste otherwise. Heads up. Hmm? What's going on? Your thoughts? Right behind you. Nothing else for now. Okay. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the side. See, you got one of those fancy bolt suits. One size fits all.
we're walking right into Boston Commons. People don't come back from here.
I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left.
Paladin and Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally! Some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. I'm only in it for the spiffy uniforms. Oh yeah? And here I thought you joined up for a sense of purpose and meaning. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part uh -huh. of We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, Defeat is unacceptable, because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, 
I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. Reese still giving you the cold shoulder. I can handle it. If you could, you'd be the first. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. He took me under his wing, showed me the ropes. I thought there was a little more between us, so... I asked him if he cared about me that way. He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about. And there was no room for anything else in his life. We never spoke about it again. Look, I... I need to get back to things. If you're worried about Reese, just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. So, are you ready to take... Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. <clears throat> All right, out with it. What's your game? So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is... I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was... Frozen or something, for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Maybe. 
I woke up at one point. Some people killed my wife and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Mm-hmm. And I hope you don't... I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there, Minuteman out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. I'd like to trade some items. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. <laughs> what gave you the idea we're friends? I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. to do some work I'd be glad to help just tell me what you need well for starters we could use some real beds we've been sleeping on the ground for too long just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick there's a workbench over there you can use give me a holler if you need anything
like I want to chit chat. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Thanks again.
boy. That's a lot of metal. Growing well. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here... I'll start planting right away. Good deal. Sturgis. Now this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, what we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here.
So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Diamond City? Where's that? Directions. Mm -hmm. You'll find the Great Green. Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I've got a few minutes to browse. I got a little bit of everything.